All right, today is Thursday, April the 8th. Wow, yeah. April, this year is flying by because it's been so busy. Um, yeah, on Tuesday, we went over and we started talking about the ideal gas law, okay? So we have PV equals NRT. Then I went through and did all the different possible rearrangements of it to where PV is equal to grams over molar mass right. times RT. And then solving for molar mass, it's equal to GERD over PIV. But G over V is equal to the density. So molar mass can equal DRT over P. Okay, and then at STP, molar mass will equal density times 22.4 liters per mole because that's what RT over P at STP equals 22.4 liters per mole. Okay, so these are all just different forms of the ideal gas law. Now, what, again, what makes this different from the combined gas law is that we only have one set of conditions and we have moles or grams given. Okay, that's how you're going to know to use those. So today, I want us just to kind of go through and use, we're going to actually use that thing called a book uh, and do problems in the, in the end of chapter 11 in the book in order to do those. And the problems that we're going to do begin on page 379. So we're going to look at page 379 in the book. And I want us to do numbers 9. Take a jump. And we're going to do 21, 23, 25, and then 28 through 31. If we can do those in the next, say, 50 minutes or so, then we can spend the second half just kind of going over and making sure we know how to do them. Um, and then we just have a couple more things left in this unit, preparing for the test, which probably will be next Thursday. We're going to need a long time. Now, we may start the next unit before then, um, depending upon how far we get in these next couple of days. All right, so let's just go ahead and do those, and we can go from there. <clears throat> 